guys, it's your girl Seth K, and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe to this video, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that post notifications bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. And y'all, as y'all can see from the title down below, y'all already know what the story time is about. This is going to be part of my remake remaster series on some story times I'm telling the full truth, the whole truth, and nothing but truth. Okay, all right, yeah. Um, I've been gone for a little minute, but I'm back. As I told you guys before in previous videos, that um, Vlogtober was not necessarily planned. You know what I mean? I kind of just did it on a whim, did good for a little bit, then fell off. But it's okay, because welcome to the story, miss. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so for a while now, I've been wanting to retell my Locked in the Nail Shop story time. Yes, Locked in the Nail Shop. This is no joke. Um... Not a fun experience, but one experience to tell, I can tell you that. So this story time takes place back when I was in college. Um, I've mentioned this college in some previous story times. I referenced it as my hood college. Hood tales coming soon. I think that's what I'm going to title that, sir. Um, yeah, story times on that college coming soon. Um, Y'all will hear on this month. I'm recording it in November, by the way, but you'll see these videos in December, all right? No rambling. So like I said, this story time takes place when I first started college. Um, you know, call me a late bloomer, but this is where I kind of want to elevate my look a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to get my nose done. I want to be one of the girls. Oh, don't look at them now. I want to be one of the girls. I was like, I want to get my nails done because my best friend, y'all have seen her in some previous, like, old videos. Uh, my best friend always keeps her nails done. I was like, dang, like, I like nails. I want to get my nails done. Let me go get my nails done. Okay, let me go do it, right? Alright, so I was texting my best friend while I was in school. I was like, hey, I want to do something today. Let's link up. I want to get my nails done. Like, do you know a place I could get my nails done for an affordable price? I'm a college student, y'all. I'm a college student, alright? So she's like, yeah, we could go to the nail shop I usually go to. They do a great job. They know me. They give me good deals. I'm like, cool. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am from Atlanta. So... Yeah, we're about to get into it. If you know anything about the Atlanta area. Yeah, okay. So, her particular nail shop. I'm not going to name the shop. I don't even know if it's still there, actually. I, I don't think it's still there. But it was off of Riverdale. Um, like I said, if you're not from Atlanta. Riverdale is, in a nutshell, kind of like... It's the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's the hood. It's the hood, but the hood do good nails. Okay? Really? I thought... I like personally when you want your nails done really good in Atlanta you got to go to the hood to get them done like the hood nail shops be doing the nails right I I genuinely believe that because when I went to like the bougie ones or like or maybe I'm just going to the wrong ones but I feel like when I've gone to like the more upscale fancy ones eh, that's how I felt like my nose came out and eh, whatever right it just it, it didn't it didn't do it for me it didn't do it for me, right? <laughs> so she's like, you know, we could go to my nail shop off of Riverdale. I'm like, cool, lit. So we're, we plant this, and I'm just like, all right, after I get out of class, I'll go home, change, do whatever I gotta do, freshen up. And I'm gonna look with my friend, and we're gonna go to the nail shop. We're gonna call my friend, we're gonna call my friend Bestie. We're gonna call my friend Bestie because a few characters come into play in the story time, okay? So. <sighs> I go to her, where was she staying at the time? I think she was still living with her mom at the time. I think she was still living with her mom at the time. So I went to her mom's house and it was about 10, no, it was about 15, 20 minute drive, right? Went to her mom's house, dropped my car off there. I get in her car and we ride on to the nail shop. We're ch we were talking, catching up, you know, we just chatting it up we all saying we're growing we're talking we're talking we're talking we're talking what you doing this week oh what you doing at school like we're just talking back and forth having a good conversation having a good key key she's getting her nose done too by the way because she needs a feel okay she needed a feel and her plan i think her plan was to get what did i get both done she wanted to get her nails done her feet were already done but i wanted to get my nails and feet done right so you know, I'm just asking about, like, how good is the service? Do, you know, I know they do a good job because I always see her with her nails, like, perfect. If y'all hear that noise in the background, that's the washer. Ignore that. But, um, you know, she's always telling me how they do a good job. You know, she's never had no problems. But 
me being who I am and me being familiar with the area, I was like, it's not gonna be no drama. Is it? I don't know. I just, you ever had that gut feeling that maybe you shouldn't go somewhere or maybe you should just stay home or wait another time to do something? I had that gut feeling and it's just, I kind of ignored it for the simple fact that I was so eager to do this, have this new experience. Like, I was so eager to get my nails done. I was. I was overjoyed. I was overjoyed. I really want to do this. And, you know, she's just telling me, oh, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be cool. Everything's been fine. I never had no problems with the people. If I didn't like something they did, like my nose or toes, like I asked them to redo it, no problem, no fuss, no hassle. I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, oh, and by the way, it's a good thing we're going to that side of town because I got to go to the store next door. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. We pull up to the nail shop. And it's not that many cars in the parking lot. It's like, I want to say like five or six cars in the parking lot. Me and her, we get out. You know, we're still talking all the way up to the door. We get to the door. And, you know, I'm looking at the the little menu that they have on the wall. You know, no, no shops always got that menu, like, of what you want. Gel, regular polish, uh, spa, like, whatever. I'm looking at all that. I'm looking at the prices. I'm like, okay, okay, this isn't too bad as it is. And, like, she says, you know, they kind of work with her, so... We're, we're in the green you know they're talking to her because like they're familiar with her she goes like every two three weeks like she is a nail fanatic okay she goes and she this is what she does this is like her second home okay this is what she does so she's chatting it up with them i'm looking at the price menus they're like oh who is this bestie's like oh this is my bestie um tati me so i'm like okay you know it's like hey how you doing whatever so they're like, oh, what do you want to get done? I'm not going to do the voices, y'all. They're like, what do you want to get done? I'm like, I want to get my nails and feet done. Um, they were like, oh, what do you want for your nails? I'm like, mm, I'm not really sure. So I'm, I, at this time, I did not understand like acrylic and gel and all that. I just knew polish. I'm sorry. I, this is all I knew. And by the way, at this time, I'm like... How old am I? Like, I'm 18. Yeah. Late bloom. So I was like, 18. It's stuff like this, at least. You know what I'm saying? I was 18. I was like, I don't really know. She was like, oh, like, they're explaining the process and everything to me of, like, you know, my different options or what I want to, of what I could get done. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. They're explaining the price breakdown, all that. I'm like, okay, great. And they're like, okay, um, you're gonna, you can get, like, you know, acrylic gel. And I was like, you know, I just really want my feet done, kind of like, nothing major, because I wear sneakers a lot, especially like, I don't know, I just always wear sneakers when I was at college, because I feel like I was always moving around, and like, buildings are spread apart, so I'm, I'm moving with the, moving with the purpose, to say the least, because I don't want to be late to that class, that class, you know, I'm always on the move, I work, uh, I got stuff to do, I got stuff to do, I, no, no, don't get me wrong, I wear like slides and sandals from time to time, but sneakers, I got stuff to do all right so i'm like you know i'm really tripping about my feet like you know just do something light on my feet so they're like oh we'll give you a regular polish set on the feet i'm like okay cool so you know at nail shops you got your chairs your little spa chairs you got your little feet tubs or whatever and sometimes they'll bring a little table over to like do your nails or prep your nails or they'll just wait until you get to like one of their stations right so they sit me in a uh, spa chair and the first step is to get my feet done. You know what I'm saying? So they're prepping my feet like <laughs> y'all I'm so goofy and I'm so ticklish. Like I this is why I really get my feet done. This is like I do it myself for the simple fact that like the ladies working on my feet and like you know the water's getting warm, they're pouring stuff in the water, to, like help like um soften up the skin so they could take away like calluses or like dead skin on your feet. Y'all, the whole time I am laughing. But wait, let me explain this one detail because I kind of forgot about it. So, when we enter in the nail shop, there's about two or three other people in there. Besides me and my best friend. So, one lady, she's getting her nails done. Not going to lie, she looks frustrated. Lady one, she's getting her nails done. She's looking frustrated. The other two ladies, they're almost done with getting their nails done. They're like, they're about to go. Okay. And, you know... That's that's the little detail I forgot, but moving on. Ladies working on my feet. The another um another nail tech takes my best friend just to 
get ready to do her fill and color change or whatever, right? So she's at the station getting her nails done. So as I'm getting my feet done, I'm laughing and laughing. My best friend's looking back at me, recording me on Snap, like, girl, you so goofy, stop laughing. Like, just let her do your feet. I'm just, I can't control it, y'all. I'm laughing. She's scared. I'm laughing. And like, she's laughing with me. She was like, it took a lot. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it was so funny to me. But y'all, as this is going on, everything's going good so far until I look over to Lady One that's at a station, get her nails done. The whole time, from the time we had walked in, I just see her looking at, like, the lady's working on her left hand. And the whole time, I'm looking at Lady One going like this to her right hand the whole time. Like, <sighs> she's rubbing on her nails, looking at, and she had white polish. I remember that. She had white polish on her nails. She's sitting there rubbing it like, <sighs> she's like, no, no, th this ain't right. Like, what, it, what kind of polish is, y'all said this is gel? This is gel? <laughs> This ain't gel, no. Y'all putting regular polish on me. Y'all trying to, no, this is not gel. Look at, look at this, look at this. Like, she's saying that to the lady. And I'm just like, you know, maybe, you know, it's a little problem. Maybe she don't like the gel. Maybe sometimes, you know, if polish is kind of old or like if you kept the cap off of it too long, it starts to kind of dry out and become kind of streaky and like cracky and peely. It's like, it's not the best texture. It's not a smooth layer that you could apply on the nails. But like... The lady just seemed real frustrated. So I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's no big deal. They're just going to fix it, change it for her, do whatever. So the tech, I see the tech is trying to work with her. Like, you know, oh, you know, sorry, okay. um, Just let me finish this hand and I'll try to work back on that hand. Right? So lady one takes, like, she's looking at the right hand, just, you know, still going on. Then she takes her left hand. It's like, mm-mm. She, like, she jakes it from the lady that's the nail tech that's doing her nails. Like, no, 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 no. This polish ain't right. This polish ain't right. What do you... No, no. I don't... Let's change it. I want to do a different color. I want to do a different color. I don't want this no more. Mind you, I'm sitting here getting my feet done. I'm in, And I'm kind of like looking over like, oh, it's getting a little loud over there. Like, what's going on? So, I see my bestie. She's getting her nose done. She kind of glanced over there, but she ain't really paying no attention because she's talking to her nail tech because, you know, like I said, she comes to her all the time. They're cool. So get my feet done you know my uh spa lady she's like oh you know what color polish do you want i want to say i got i want to say i got blue i want to say i got blue blue regular polish like blue blue polish i think yeah so you know she's drying my feet uh, she's just prepping my feet and everything she's it's, she's doing a really good job as far as i'm concerned you know what i'm saying like i'm not no no fanatic but like she's doing a good job like on my feet i'm like okay like be feeling soft I'm looking good i'm like okay like go 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 like whatever i'm like i feel i'm feeling myself i'm like dog i even got my nails done but i'm already feeling myself but like as she's painting my toes my spa lady keeps looking back at lady one because she's here is getting a little rowdy and little she's she's very frustrated over there so my uh spa lady she keeps looking back at lady one like and she's looking at the nail tech, nail tech doing Lady One's nails. Like, is everything good? And like everybody in the shop just kind of keeps glancing over as time's going on because slowly but surely, like Lady One is getting more upset. She's getting more aggravated, and she's getting a little bit louder. So, <sighs> y'all. Lady One is like, you know, she doesn't want that nail polish anymore. She wants it changed. The nail tech's like, okay, I'll get you another um, nail polish. What color do you want? Lady One's like, you know, she still wants white, but do you have like a um, a newer bottle or something? They're like, no, this bottle's fine. This is the only bottle we have. So she's like, okay, change the color to say whatever, like pink. She's like, let's do pink or whatever, right? Say she changed the color. So the nail tech changes the color. She's taking off the acrylic polish whatever she had on right so she's starting to do the new color pink so you know my lady's still doing my feet my besties nail tech is still doing her nails and lady one gets her nail polish changed but y'all i don't know if maybe that nail tech just wasn't doing it right i don't know if something was wrong with maybe all the polish she had i don't know but Lady One is getting irritated all over again. She's like, no, no what, what's up with y'all polish? 
she, cause she like the lady, she's doing the nails. She looks back at her hands. She's like, lady one's like, no, what are y'all doing with the? What is? What is wrong with y'all polish? Like, I'm not paying for this. I'm not paying for this. Like, look at my hand. Look at my hand. It's all lumpy. It's all chipped. It's not straight. It's streaky. What's going on? Like, are you for real? And the nail tech's like, just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Uh, let me try to fix it. Let me try to fix it. Ladies one like, no, no, just change the color. I want the color back white again. Just go back to white. Go back to white. Now, at this point, this may be like the third, second or third time. No, first. It was the third, about third time she's changed it. So now she wants it back to white. So it went white, pink, white. So now she wants it back to white. The nail tech's like, ma'am, I've done it three times. I can't keep changing the color for you. Like, you're being, and to some extent, she's technically saying she's being difficult. But I was trying to figure out what happened to the customers always, right? I feel like if I'm paying for a service, I should get what I want. Now, granted, I don't, I couldn't really see her nails from where I was sitting because, like, the nail station is like in front of me, but it's like over to the right, and like I'm sitting in the spa chair, so like I'm basically I'm just looking at her back, but like I can see her moving around with her hands and everything, right? And I can see, but I can see the nail tech because the nail tech is facing her, you know, at the table. So I'm just sitting here, I'm watching the whole thing. Me and my best friend, we keep looking at each other, like, like we looking at each other from across the room, like, <laughs> let's just pay attention to see what's going on over there, because you don't know like what could happen in situations where people are getting frustrated, irritated, and anything could escalate. So we're just staying on our p's and q's, like we wanna. We want everyone to be safe at all costs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm <laughs> saying, like, we gotta dip, we gotta dip. So sorry about it. But, um, yeah. Y'all, as this whole thing is happening, the nail tech is like, I can't keep changing the color. I done changed the color like three times for y'all already. She's like, just change the color back to white and we'll leave it at that. Just change the color, I'm ready to go. Just, I wanna get about the shop. Cause she's tired. The lady wants to get about the shop. She said, I want to leave. She said, I want to leave. Just change the color back to white. Okay? So the nail tech's like, okay, I'll change the color, I'll change the color. My lady, she's like, at this point, you would, it sounds like it's taking a long time, but it's really not. But at this point, I would kind of think she was on my feet, but she wasn't because she kept looking over everyone. When, if you know, if you know, if you've ever had a bad nail shop experience where somebody's getting upset or belligerent with one of the nail techs, you know everyone in the shop almost stops what they're doing to look and see what's going on over there because they don't have each other's back. I'm just being ripped. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. But y'all, I'm sorry, I almost fell. But y'all know if there's something chaotic going on in the nail shop, all the technicians are all looking at each other like, you know, what's going on? What, 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 you okay? What's going on? Like, we need to call police. Like, what's going on? Like, you know, it, it always goes like that. It always. So, you know, and I mean, I get it, you know. I guess. I get it. She's like, just change the color back to white. I'm going to take it and I'm going to I just want to leave. So the lady's like, I'm not changing the color again. This is the third time. She's like, just go ahead and change the color to white so I could go. So I guess eventually she's working on changing the color back to white, what she asked for. But the lady's like, you can't just apply it smooth. Like, it's, can I get somebody else to do it? Like, the lady's like, no, everyone else is busy working on another customer. I'm the only, one that, only person that could do your nails right now. Like, nobody else, everybody else is busy. Which everybody else pretty much was busy from what I understood. So, you know, she's changing the color back to white. The lady's still frustrated, irritated. She's like, just do my nails so I can go. Just do my nails so I can go. She's like, um, just go ahead and do it. So, the lady's doing her nails, doing her nails. Everyone's still looking at the situation that's taking place. She finishes. She finishes the lady's nails. She finishes the lady's nails. And she's like, okay, your price is going to be $75. Because I guess she got her nails and her feet done. She was like, $75, I'm not paying $75. Do you see this? Do you see this? I'm not paying $75 for this. I'm not paying $75 for this. You didn't even do my nails the way I asked you to. Your nail polish is streaky. It's messed up. I'm not paying $75 for this. Are you for real? She's like, take 20 or something off and I'll pay the rest. But I'm not paying $75 for something you couldn't even do right. And I was like, I get it. Because like, if I get a service and you ain't doing it right, and this is from my perspective, I feel like, I should get some type of discount. You know what I mean? If you ain't doing the service right or you're not doing what I asked you to do. But then, at the same time, while I feel that way, I just would have paid it and just never came back. You know what I mean? Like, because 
Maybe the lady was doing the best she could to her ability, but I don't know. I wasn't sitting right at that table. I just could see what was going on and take my perspective on what happened. So they're like, no, you got to pay. You got to pay. You got to pay this. Like like the other uh, nail techs and everyone else is getting involved. Like, no, you have to pay. You have to pay. And she's like, I'm not. Do y'all see this? Y'all see? They're like, we know. We know. They're literally saying that they know that something like the nails aren't right. Their nails aren't perfect. But, like, everybody else is busy, and she's like, she wants to go. She's got to go. And, you know, they're like, we can't take the price off. You know, it is what it is. Like, you just got to pay the price and keep pushing. She's like, I'm not paying for this. And me and my best friend, we just looking like, at this point, lady done stopped. Lady was almost doing my feet. She stopped doing my feet. The lady that was doing my best friend's nails, she done stopped doing her nails. Everyone just looking now. And the guy comes from the back. is like, no, you have to pay. You have to pay. She's like, I'm not paying for this. So, here's what was so weird, right? The lady that was checking her out was like, okay, don't worry. We'll take off the nose. Don't worry. Just pay it. So, I don't know if the price delayed on the screen or what happened. But, like, say it's time for her to insert her card. And as she's inserting her card, she sees, like, still the full price after they said they would take something off her. She was like, no, you lying. You said you was going to take off, but now you got the full price showing up. So her and the lady are getting into it like, you lying. I shouldn't have to pay for this. Like, they're going back and forth with each other, back and forth. The lady gets so infuriated, which I can understand because you lie and tell me that you're going to give me a discount. But don't give me no discount. And you're still trying to charge me the full price. After I insert my card, that's going to be a problem. So the lady, you know... No shops, they only got that little podium. It's not like, um, it's just you can walk around it, you're in it, right? You know what I'm saying? The lady gets so upset that she walks around to the around the podium with the lady checking her out and unplugs the card machine. She unplugs the card machine, and so the guy he's running from the back and runs to the like the door where you enter and leave the nail shop, he locks it. Y'all, I'm about to fall out this chair, but y'all. Me and my best friend, we over there, we talking about. Oh no, they're not for real. They can't be serious. Did they just lock us in this no shop? Like, I'm sitting here like, okay, now this should be illegal because if something happens, like, say this lady pulls out a, a bleggy, why should I have to be locked in this no shop? Because y'all done pissed her off. I didn't piss her off. I'm not doing the nails. I should not, I don't, is that legal? Like, you can't do that. Like, what if something happens now? Guess what? If something happens to me now, y'all liable because y'all locked me in the nail shop. Like, be for real. So, they, the guy, he's running from the back. He goes to the front door. He locks the door. He's standing at the door, like, blocking it. Like, you know, you not going to where you're going to pay this. He's telling one of the other nail techs, um, call the police, call the police. Because, like, she's trying to steal, basically. Because I guess, like, you know, she unplugged the car, but she didn't have time to process her car fully. Or maybe it did. I don't know. I really don't know. I just know sis went behind that counter and plugged that thing. Girl, she started wrapping that little car machine up. And <laughs> she said it right there behind the desk. She was like, y'all are about to charge me. Y'all are not about to charge me full price for a set that I didn't ask for this. Y'all didn't even do it right and you know it. And they admitted to knowing that they didn't do it right. Everybody was like, yeah, that's not right, but you still gonna pay full price. So I was like, yeah, that's wrong. But the guy, he's blocking the door, blocking the door. She's trying to get up. She's like, no, no, get out the way. Like, she started reaching in her purse. Because she had this big bag. Like, she had, like, it's not a crossbody, but it's, like, the little arm purses. You sit there like that. Like, she's carrying a purse like this. She's like, get out the way. I don't know if she's reaching in the purse to get something. I don't know if she's about to hit him. I just thank God I was safe. Because nothing, yeah, I'm clearly here today to tell this story. Because he's like telling the lady, call the police, call the police. He's trying not to let her out the door. She literally takes this man. Mind you, she, this is a tall woman. And this is like a little man, like trying to block her and keep her in. And I don't know if he's like nervous on what she might do or whatever. But she literally takes her hand and just pushes this man out the He just pushed him out the way. I'm just like. Me and my bestie, y'all, we, we just sitting there, we looking, we talking about too stunned to speak. Because we were like, oh, snap. This man, like, he stumbles, like, he hits the wall. Like, not it's not a wall. Yeah, he technically hit the wall. He kind of stumbled against the wall, almost fell, but he didn't fall, so, yeah. But she pushed him out the way. Girl, she unlocked that door, and she pushed the door open and walked out. Now, this isn't the first time I've seen somebody do something like this. But, like, when you leave a place and you don't pay, 
you know, you always be thinking about, sorry, let me rephrase it, because that sounds like something, uh, yeah, the way I was about to say it, it kind of sounds like I did it, but I've never done this before, but I've definitely seen people do it. There are usually, like, cameras in a parking lot, or, like, on the building or something, and, like, if the people call the police and they give the police your license plate, they can probably track you. So, a lot of times, what people do is they'll back their car, should I be telling y'all that? She backed her car out a certain way, and... Basically, it's so it couldn't be her license plate couldn't be caught on camera, and she zoomed away. Now, y'all, I guess the police didn't think it was a serious matter. <laughs> I guess they didn't think it was a serious matter. They were just like, uh. But it seems like they had dealt dealt with this before because the way they came in, it was just kind of like, like again, really, y'all. We do this, we do this dance at least once a week, once a week, once a week. Like they just seemed kind of irritated because y'all. They didn't come until, like, you know, the lady, she was doing my feet. Then she starts doing my nails. You know, we're chatting it up, saying, like, you know, what I wanted my nails. I was like, I want blue toes, blue nails. So she's doing my nails, doing my nails. They came out decent. I usually get short nails. I didn't. They came out decent. I could kind of see why the lady was mad that, that they didn't do her nails right. I guess they only do, like, their favorite people's nails right. I don't know. Because my best friend's nails came out right. Or maybe it's just my best friend's technician is the only good technician there. Because I feel like my nails kind of came out like, meh. Nah, nah. Looking back on it now, but in that moment, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just happy. But as I got older, I was like, that wasn't hitting on nothing at all. <laughs> it wasn't hitting on a thing. But y'all, you know, the lady's doing my nails. She's almost done. It took her about maybe an hour, hour and a half to do my nails. That's when the police finally showed up. Hour, hour and a half later. They came in, they looking like they so over the situation. Like they did not they did not consider it a priority situation. So they ended up coming at their leisure. Two cops came, you know, they're explaining what happened. Like, you know, the lady she just walked out. They're like, Did you guys get it in on camera? They're like, Do you have her license plate? Anything like that? They were like, No, she zoomed away really quick. We didn't get nothing. They were like They didn't care. Literally, swear to god that's what they they just like, what do you want me to do about that? So, like, you didn't get, it, didn't get her license plate. You didn't get her from me. <laughs> what you want me to do? Like, there's no way of getting her. <laughs> like, they basically told them in a nutshell, there's nothing that they could do about the situation. It's, it is what it is. So, I don't know. I don't know. Because after that, me and my friend, we paid for our stuff and we left. We got in the car, we were like, yo, that was crazy how that happened. I was like, can they legally, like, lock us in that nail shop, though? Because, like, what if everything would have went left? That's crazy to me. That's really crazy to me. But me and Bestie are still here today to tell the story. All right. I mean, she's not here right now, but she's here today to, you know, for me to, to hear me tell the story again. All right, y'all. Anyways, welcome to day one of Vlogmas. If I haven't said that already, did I say that at the beginning? Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. It's your girl, Tati K, and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that post notifications bell down below so you're notified whenever I post. I can't wait to see y'all till tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.